Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out Lethal Weapon 4. I am very excited to get into this movie because I have loved the last three Lethal Weapon movies. For some reason they have all been amazing and I say for some reason because a lot of times especially for franchises and stuff like that which go into like the third and fourth movie especially the movies aren't usually very good and so it's a really nice and pleasant surprise to see a franchise that actually takes care of its movies, takes care of the characters and stuff like that and it's really really awesome to see so that's why i'm very excited to get into lethal weapon 4 just because of how amazingly well done the last three movies were lethal weapon 3 was definitely my least favorite of one two and three i think my favorite is in order first one being my favorite second one second favorite and the third one is my third favorite but that doesn't mean that i'm not excited for the fourth one I, again I, i've already said i'm very excited for the fourth one even though the third one wasn't as good as the first two it still was not a bad movie by any means it was still a really good movie it took very great care for the characters you could tell the writers really cared about their progression in life and it wasn't just a blatant action movie to get to cash in on the lethal weapon name right and it was just really cool to see the only the weakest link of lethal weapon 3 for me was the villain so i'm hoping that that gets better in this movie. I'm hoping the villain is stronger in this movie than it is in the last movie. But anyways, yeah, I'm very excited to see Mel Gibson and Danny Glover return. Their banter is what makes these movies for me. If these characters were different actors, I don't know if I would have liked these movies this much, to be honest with you, because their chemistry is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Lorna, I can see, is also back. Uh, her name is Renee Russo, the actress. She is also back. Very excited for her to be back. She was awesome in Lethal Weapon 3. I thought she was a great addition to the team and she is perfect for rigs they're like the same person like boom 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 the same person and it is <laughs> i don't know why i went boom 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 the same person but yeah they are great together and i'm so glad she's returning and also on the still frame uh that crave is giving me i can see that chris brown i'm pretty sure that's chris brown is in this movie i haven't watched a lot of chris brown stuff i've seen his stand-up comedy a bit i think he's pretty funny uh but yeah i'm very excited to see what he does in this movie because again I'm not too familiar with his acting work I've seen some of his stand-up comedy work and I thought it was pretty funny but yeah uh, I'm very excited to get into it before we get into it though we got to do the lighting so let me turn on my light and then we can decide what color it's gonna be Boop. nice 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 okay I'm thinking today we go back to the original movie and we make the color red I have no idea if I made it red for the last movie or the movie before that. I'm pretty sure I made the lighting red in the first movie. If I've made the lighting red in all the movies, I'm so sorry. But this one is red just because like the bottom half of the poster is just red. It's like black and white at the top and then it fades and the other half of the pos po poster, poster is red. So this is kind of, I'm pretty sure I made the first movie's lighting red. So this is kind of in honor of the first movie and the Lethal Weapon franchise as a whole and also because the poster is half red. So that is why my lighting is red. Hopefully it pays off and there's something really red in the movie that can be like, oh yeah, I meant for that to happen because the lighting is this red and that's red. You know, I'm hoping that happens. Anyways, if you'd like to watch more of my reactions, you can check out my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my TV shows and movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so, so much if you check it out and let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this movie. So without further ado, I'm very excited to get into the last, so far at least, the last installment of the Lethal Weapon franchise, Lethal Weapon 4. What the heck? What the heck? That kind of scared me. It was just blasted open. <laughs> Who's this joker? I don't know. Spokesman for the NRA, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> He's flamethrower man. Flamethrower man. He's like a bad supervillain. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Briggs is like always wrong, but then always right at the same time. I don't know. <gasps> Lorna's pregnant? Lorna's pregnant? What you say? Really? You gonna be a Riggs would be a really fun dad, I feel like. A really crazy dad, but a fun dad. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Why do they just know both of this? Like, why don't- <laughs> why? What? But also good- good for her. And good for Riggs and Lorna. I'm very happy. 
I love that all of this craziness is happening and they're just having this talk about being a father and being a grandfather. It's so funny. It's such a good like juxtaposition of the two things. Are those little hearts? Yeah, not, not Rick. Just hit the gym. <laughs> Oh, he has a jetpack! He has a jetpack now, a free jetpack. Oh, not yet. I went a little early on the explosion, but it, oh, it's still awesome, all the same. I got it. Check both sides, you're trying to find. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> He's right behind you, shark! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love it so much. Finish with that yet? I, I, I don't know how to explain that. Does that yeah. sound like a bunch of bullshit to you? No, that makes perfect sense, Riggs. That makes perfect sense. They're gonna get married at the end of this movie, though. I bet, hundred percent, hundred percent. They're gonna get married at the end of the. Come on, man! The bilge pump. What? Pump your fucking ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was just enraged, Leo. I don't think I've ever seen Leo that mad before. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, you want some laser surgery? Hey, hey! <laughs> you want some laser surgery? <laughs> The lines in this movie so far have been really good. <laughs> this is the most exciting fishing ship ever, Leo. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, watch out! Oh, he's literally Neo in the Matrix. Then Matrix dodges. <gasps> really? Oh, <laughs> what the heck? That was awesome. He has a laser scope. I didn't know that when he said want to get laser surgery or something. I thought he just meant with a bullet. There's actually a laser on his gun. That's so cool. Oh, that was awesome. Good kick, dude. Good kick. 10 out of 10. This has got to be the absolutely slowest shark I've ever seen. Like the slowest shark in the world. Put it in the Guinness World Book of World Records. Oh, illegal immigrants or something like that. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad at the people anymore. I'm not mad anymore. Uh, a moment, I, uh, uh, a small uh, delivering problem. He's so dead. This guy's so dead, right? Oh, too long. oh I thought he was gonna get shot. I thought he was gonna get shot. My heart was dying. I thought he was gonna get shot. Oh, so they said something about the family there were a lot of people on that boat but the family makes me think there are a few people who are really important on that boat so interesting to figure out who those people are and if they are really important people i don't know intriguing stuff he is dead they didn't shoot him they're, they're trying to kill him like this make it look like a, an accident you know, I was not wrong to be worried for that man. I was not wrong at all. Nobody's slave now. Come on up, Carlo. This is really cruel. Like what they do with these people, both when they get to the country and also how they get to the country and stuff like that. Like everything about it is just kind of horrible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, Sergeant Riggs. <gasps> Chris Rock. Hey, somebody get this man a flag. I'll always hear Marty from Madagascar. I'll always hear the zebra from Madagascar when I listen to his voice. Did he ever do to anybody? That ain't right. All right, easy business. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> He's getting so angry, but like angry over the right right cause. Like, what did that guy do to get shot? Like, what did he does? What did he deserve that? You know what? He got a free blanket out of all of this. That's worth a boat. That is definitely worth a boat. <gasps> that must be the family. That must be the family. Oh my god, that must be the family. I wonder if they're there just to try and get into America for a new new opportunities, or if they're there for something else. Sharks the usual. Here, boy. Yeah, love how she. <laughs> the dog treats. The dog treats. Oh, I love the running joke from the last movie. That's so funny. Please. Well? Kid will probably hate dogs. <laughs> then he's not my kid. <laughs> Bet you if he just said that. Well, no, I, no. Lorna does. Lorna does. Lorna does. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell that Riggs does. There's just like something gnawing 
on his mind right now. What he was saying about the ring is kind of still in his mind. Well, when you have that kid, we'll blow up Mount St. Helens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. The lines, again, have been good. You know, in general, problems. No, you don't. You mean something specific. I got <laughs> yeah. yeah, you mean something specific. Say it. Say it. I want you to go there. To feel their chemistry is just as good as in the second, their third movie. They met last year. They fell in love. She got pregnant. They got hitched. That's the story. And really, really. How did she find out about this? I like Lee butter better, better, better. I like it better. <laughs> <laughs> He's slipping up. No way he keeps his mouth shut for the next like, for whatever they're doing, for whatever they're doing. No way he keeps their mouth shut. His mouth shut. A, a couple of Chinese people. Like, oh, it's actually a whole a lot a whole family of them the family of them like no one did for my ancestors okay you know he has he has the right mindset and he has the heart i just don't know if this is the way to do it you know because it'll probably get him in trouble and his family in trouble as well hey trish hey babe trish knows Riggs knows there is no way they don't tell i'm trying to raise that baby by itself daddy i'll be I, know. Yeah, move back in. I love that it's the same actors. I love it so much. I'm so glad they cast the same actors again for the kids. This shit ain't funny no more. <laughs> it kind of is. It kind of is. Just him walking around in his underwear and going. With dinosaurs headed for extinction. <laughs> I feel like the just everything in this movie is more funny. I don't know why. Like all the banter has been more funny. Your special privilege is making you captains. No. Captains. Trouble something simple. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great. They're gonna miss it. They're gonna miss it. Riggs especially is going to miss the streets. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Okay, captain. No, Captain. No, 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 you, Captain. <laughs> They're just two goofy best friends. I love it so much. I love just their relationship as it grows throughout each movie and how they just talk better with each other, you know what I mean? Can we knock it off, please? Okay, please. It puts it back up. Feelings, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Riggs is very good. No, you, you don't think he likes- No! No! No, Roger! No! <laughs> That's so weird, he's just talking to those guys, looks over. The guys he's talking to, like, uh, excuse me, you're talking to us Why you thumbs up in this other guy? What? Hey, I mean, he's slippery. Where's he hanging out these days? He's got Just in his tree fort. He's hanging out in his tree fort. <laughs> Spend some time with him. You might learn to love him. Okay, huh? he is. He is the son. Okay, good. Good, good, good. He is the stepson. Oh, officer, he might have to back you up one day. I was confused for a second because I thought his name was, like, Butters, and they were calling him something else. Or something like that. So I was confused, but I just got the name wrong, so that was my fault. Fight me, fight me. He's like a child in the seat. <laughs> hey, I can smell a cop a mile away. Oh, I smell bad? What's what you trying to say? Not, well, stop turning everything around. <laughs> <laughs> he is very touchy. He just very aggressive. Well, the problem is he shot at me and Raj too, and that pisses us off. Like that. <laughs> too bad they missed. <laughs> oh, this guy's a savage. Oh. Riggs. That is gonna be a good final fight. I feel like they're gonna have a final fight. Remember, no damage. <laughs> yeah, no damage. There's gonna be a lot of damage. Since Roger said that, there's going to be a lot of damage. Johnny, somebody stole your bike. He just took the $200 and it's someone else's bike. What the heck? Such a bad friend. Split it 50-50. Oh, the trash. Stopped him with the trash. This is a really fun chase scene. I was about to say, it's really nice hearing them say the rights, because in a lot of cop things, they don't really say the rights, and it's not like a realistic arrest, and I was like, oh, he's doing a realistic arrest, and then, oh, that's done, and then he just didn't, you know what I mean? 
Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, chicken and sweet sour pork, barbecue spare rib with special fries. Ah, shut up! up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they got the waiter. Oh my god, they're gonna get sued so hardcore. Ooh, ooh. I love like I love martial arts and martial arts moves and movies and fights. They're always so cool. See the captain beat Riggs in a fight. Oh oh I hate choking. The captain beat Riggs in a fight and this guy, the not from not in Hong Kong the guy, is beating the captain in a fight easily, hands down easily. So that is just a good way to show the power level. It's your chair. Oh, sit down, really. It's fine. Sit. You want something to drink? Tequila? The family seems so nice. I cannot, I cannot see the family being bad people. The family is nice. This is my pops. Yeah, take it. Yeah, he got it when he retired from the force. Yeah. No, 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 I cannot. No, 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 no. No, because he'll want to repay it. He'll want to repay. Thank you so much. Okay, nothing, this family is nice. This family is too nice to be bad. I was thinking that the family maybe was here for bad intentions, but no, I feel like the family is just a really nice people. And they're, the people that they know who brought them over are bad people. The guy he's fighting, sorry, sorry, are you all right? Sorry, are you okay? What a nice guy. They have to say it in every movie now, don't they? They have to. Accept it. I got to. I would want. I want to watch these movies when I get older, when I'm working, maybe to twenty years into work, when I'm like forty or something, fifty or something. Rewatch these movies, and I feel like I'd really understand the characters a lot more. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Oxy. Come on. Up. Go. Up. And get this. Pigeons ate his eyeballs. Cool. Pigeons ate his eyeballs. That is not a fun thing to think about. I never lost my mother's phone. Took you two hours to make a damn long distance call. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> See, I don't understand like the problem with the phones because I was born when phones were pretty commonplace. I feel like, well, like at least I remember when phones were pretty commonplace. <laughs> hey, you called Afghanistan. Afghanistan. <laughs> I love this. These two are perfect for each other. You're on the phone, aren't you, little fella? That's right, telephone tough guy. Why am I talking to you on the phone? <laughs> I was just about to say that. Get off the phone, Theo. Yeah, that's the idea. I'm trying to help a video shoot him. <laughs> that's a good plan. That's a good plan, guys. Uh, what? Get away from his home. Get away from Roger's home. Oh, it was because the, the family's there. Because the family's there, though. That scared me so much. I was like, why are they acting so strange? There's people here. Oh! Oh, no, watch out! No! No! That's even worse than just killing Lorna. Actually, I guess it isn't because then the baby would still die, but that's worse because if you just kill the baby, they have to live with it. I bet he didn't expect a pregnant woman to be able to fight, did he? Ooh. You're no match for this guy. This guy is literally a kung fu master. Ooh. Well, I don't actually know if it's, he's fighting in kung fu. I know there's a lot of different styles of fighting. Oh, did you see that kick? Did you see that kick? He disarmed Riggs and disarmed Roger at almost the exact same time. Why didn't the why didn't the ladies leave when they were told to leave? Why didn't Trish and the daughter leave? I hate that the house is burning down. I love this house. The house is a character for me, you know. Just every so much has happened here. 
<gasps> the kid is here. The kid stayed. Here comes a car chase. Here comes a car chase. We're going east to China's east and <laughs> China's west as well. That's so true. <laughs> Roger being the siren is something I never knew I needed in my life. <laughs> this stunt. This stunt is so cool. <laughs> I never expected there to be a fight in a house on a car on the highway. It's a house car chase, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. This is called table surfing. Do not try this at home, kids. He just got hit by a bus and then, oh my God, that was brutal. Wow, these stunts are incredible. This stunt on the table in the car where the cars are getting smacked around, incredible. They're driving next to him in a building and he's on the road. What is this chase scene? It's awesome. What the heck? What the heck? I did not expect that at all. What the heck? He's so dead. He must be dead. Oh, yeah. Oh. Both of these guys ended were ended brutally. One by a bus and one by a truck. Oh, my heart's still beating too, Roger. Don't worry. Oh, it's so devastating to see the house just burn down, you know what I mean? Like, it was such a nice house. What a shame. Well, you stay there, okay? Get That's beautiful. Popcorn. We'll be right there. We'll be Let's right go. there. Hey, Butters, yeah. can you drive us? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Here. No, she tried to hold his hand. And then she said, I'll call you. Aw, very cute. I think maybe I, I know what it is. You do? Yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't, Roger. I know Riggs knows what... What Butters is trying to say, but Roger is the whole wrong idea. But Riggs is just gonna let this play out. I was just hoping maybe we could get together around the holidays, say Christmas, we all come. Hey, well, why the, why the hell? <laughs> I was just trying to reach out. But reach somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't want to hear the misunderstanding. Not a word. The misunderstanding. <laughs> oh. Uncle Benny, 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 Uncle
Oh, wow. How is he still alive? After getting hit by a train, how is he still alive? Oh, not another one. Okay, you know what? He's probably dead. I think only one person in the world could survive that. Arnold Schwarzenegger. They let him back here. Murtaugh, Riggs. Hey. Looks like they were making funny money. Who is this guy with the long hair, by the way? The cop with the long hair. He's like rip-off Aquaman. The bullets in. These guys disappeared from prison. They are gone. Yeah, Red sailed them when they took over Hong Kong. The four guys, the four guys that are in the cell, the brother of the martial arts guy and those other three people are the four fathers. It's all making sense now. The connections are real. Yes, here it comes. The distraction of centuries. That's actually just Roger. The horn is just Roger. He perfected his horn from earlier in the movie. Oh, he's so. He wants Riggs dead so badly. I fuck you. We <laughs> fucked you. We fucked you. It's beautiful. Ha! <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, they're so dead. Here we go. Oh, really? He's, he killed the fathers, the dads, whatever Roger wanted to call them. I tried to say they make the same joke, but it didn't really work out. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm boinking it. Boinking is not a term that I have ever heard before. <laughs> boinking. Boink, 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 boink. Ah, uh, tattoo. All right. I'll look for some more ammo. I also love that they're counting the ammo. In a lot of movies, it's just fire, 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 fire. Don't count about the ammo. I love that they are taking into consideration the ammo. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. Imagine if you died by a barrel falling on your head. That would be the saddest death of all time. How did he know that that was going to happen? Oh no, the brother died. He matrixed through the past the bullet and it hit his brother and now he's going to be so angry. Oh never mind, he's more concerned about the brother. I thought the brother was just gonna die. Well now you done it. Now he's really pissed. Oh my god. Let the anger flow through you. Let it course through your veins. Let it power you, martial arts man. Let me see some cool fighting in your red pajamas. Yeah, okay. Let's go ask him. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way they walk away from it. They've never walked away from something before, really. Oh, this is so awesome. What the heck? I didn't expect this to be in a movie, in this, in a Lethal Weapon movie, like this style of fighting. Oh, oh the back kick. Oh, nice. He's so flexible, what the heck? I can't even lift my leg past my hips. Never mind over my head to kick someone. You know, Riggs is actually really good at fighting. Oh no, this guy likes to choke people to death. It's like a kink or something, I guess, for him. Oh, not the eyeballs, 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 not the eyeballs. Yes! Those are only used for stabbing. You're gonna stab him with it. Oh! Oh, wow. Looks like Riggs has got a handle on things. Ba boom tsh. Laugh at my joke. He, that's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. Would that gun even work when it was underwater? I don't know, but I'm gonna believe it. I'm gonna believe that it would. Jeez, that was, this guy's death was gruesome. I got you. I got you. Oh. Roger's such a good friend. Roger's such a good friend. I wish I had a friend like Roger. You only know if a friend is going to risk their life to save you while you're drowning under a concrete slab if you ever are in the event 
of drowning under a concrete slab, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I'm looking for help here, honey. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I have chills again. I don't know why, I just got like chills again. Leo, man, you ruined this amazing talk that he was going to have. You know, when I was a kid, I had a pet frog. What? Just give me a second. Let me tell you this, okay? <gasps> Finally giving us some emotion. Really? He was my best friend in the whole world. The only thing I ever loved. And then I met you. Oh, Leo. I have so many chills right now. It's okay. It's okay. You're my family. <gasps> no, I have so many chills. What the heck? Why did this just happen? Leo, I never expected this. Like this strange angel, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the message. I got the message. Oh my god, this is so heartwarming. I said I didn't want to get married, but I do want to get married. I want to be a wife before I'm a mother, and I lied. I just I, okay. lied, and I. I know They're going to marry right now with the ring. The ring that he has. The minister before the baby comes. Honey, I it's think, coming I think, now. I think, I think we... Listen, I am getting married or there is no baby. You got it? But there is going to be a baby whether you like it or not. It's not like she can just keep it in, can she? No. Listen, how do they go and do this? Uh, 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 dearly beloved. That's it. Dear, dearly beloved, uh, we are dearly gathered here. Dearly in my favorite marriage scene in any movie is in Pirates of the Caribbean 3 when Elizabeth Swan and uh, What's-His-Face Orlando Bloom's character get married. Good luck, Lauren. Reeks. Leo? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. <gasps> I got chills. I got chills. He's never really done that before. Hey, Roger, look what I did. Oh, oh, this is making me so happy. What the heck? Everyone's coming back for one last hurrah. Take it, Leo, get in the picture. Yeah. All right. Talk to me, baby. Hey, can you take a picture of all yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. I'm so glad Leo's going to be in the picture, too. I'm so glad Leo's in the picture, too. Three, one, two, three. Oh, is this the end? If this is the end, it's perfect. Yes. Do, do. I have so many chills right now. Unbelievable. What an ending. If this is the end of the franchise, I am so okay with it. Just end it here. It must be, right? This feels like an ending. Even with like these pictures of everyone like directing and the behind the scenes kind of. Like it feels like an end of an era, sort of, if you know what I mean. This guy was awesome. Oh, Jet Li. What? I know, I know that name. Jet Li. He's famous. I know he's famous. I just don't think I've seen any of his movies before. So that's why I didn't know. And that was my reaction to Lethal Weapon 4. 1998 action crime, two hours, eight minutes long, seven minutes long, something like that. And starring Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Also, Joe Pesci, I'd say, kind of starred in this movie as well. He was in it a lot more than the other ones, but man, I loved that movie. That movie, I think I had a grin on my face from start to finish, my mouth and like my jaw literally hurts from smiling so much after this i think i'm just not going to talk the rest of the day it's like kind of midday ish like three o'clock not really midday i guess because midday is noon but it's like i have a long time left in the day to be awake before i go to sleep and my jaw already hurts from talking so much well from not even talking from smiling so much so like i don't think i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna lay low and not talk the rest of the day but yeah this movie was really good if i had to write after after watching this movie if, to, if i had to rank which in order of preferences from liked most to liked the least i think my the third movie was definitely my least favorite and the first movie was my favorite but the second movie and this movie i feel like are kind of tied for me um i think the second movie had deeper themes in it but this movie i thought was more fun for me to watch this movie in general i didn't think it had like I think it was the weakest when it came to themes and emotional themes in the movie. I thought that while there were def they were definitely there, I think it wasn't as there wasn't as many scenes as in the other Lethal Weapon movies that that kind of went into that emotional stuff. It was definitely more at the more so at the end of the movie, but um, I'll get into that a little bit later. But 
Uh, I think in terms of just uh, the amount of fun I had with this movie, I think I had the most fun with this movie out of all the Lethal Weapon movies. So I, I don't know, I just really enjoyed this movie a lot. And I could see some flaws in this movie, but overall I just, I loved the chemistry between Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. It, their characters knowing each other for so long now, like they just go off of each other so well. And I think that's what I really loved about this movie was just like all the lines, all the dialogue. Uh, Chris Rock and Joe Pesci together were really funny sometimes. Joe Pesci was in the movie more and he I didn't find him annoying once, which was awesome. Chris Rock, I was worried because I sometimes uh, at the start of the movie, I was like, oh, he might. He's kind of like Joe Pesci. I don't think I said that, but um, it was definitely very easy to see. He was kind of like Joe Pesci's character, Leo, when they were together. And I was like, oh, no, two Leos in one movie. That could be bad. But Chris Rock was awesome in this movie. Everyone was awesome in this movie. Lorna was awesome in this movie. And... I just really, really enjoyed this movie. The thing I'd like to talk about first about this movie is that I know that I read at least, I don't know, but I read that Richard Donner said there's gonna be a Lethal Weapon 5. Now, as much as, a, as I want a Lethal Weapon 5, as much as I wanna see Danny Glover and Mar Mel Riggs play, or Mel Gibson play Martin Riggs and Roger Murd Murdoch, right? Murd 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 Murdoch, Murdoch, I think that's how you say his last name. And I want to see like Joe Pesci back and Rene Rousseau back and stuff like that. As much as I want to see that, I don't, I have sad to say, I don't want Lethal Weapon 5 to happen. Just because this movie had such a finality to it in the last, I don't know, 20 minutes of the movie. After they kill uh, Jet Li, who by the way is in this movie. I did not know that was Jet Li. I have not seen anything Jet Li's in. I've just heard his name quite a bit. I just did, I don't know what he looks like, so I'm sorry that I did not recognize him. But yeah, as soon as they kill him, there's about 20 minutes left of the movie, which felt like a long time at first. I was like, oh, there's still a long time left in this movie. Um, but like, it was so wholesome to watch. It was so, it felt like the final movie. It felt like everything was wrapping up in a nice bow. Riggs gets married, Lorna marries to Riggs, they marry and they both love each other, it's awesome, they have a baby, he's a family, he's getting too old, he's kind of finally coming to terms with him getting old, him having a family, settling down and stuff like that. Roger's becoming a granddad, he has probably has to buy a new house because his house burned down, but you know, that's another story, that's for Lethal Weapon 5, <laughs> if there ever is going to be one. His daughter again, and Chris Rock and stuff like that, like, and he's getting old too now in the police force, so it's probably about time for him to start settling down, especially because he is a granddad, spends some time with his grandkids and his kids whenever they come over because they are independent now, as they said at the start of this movie. For Joe Pesci, just kind of coming clean with his with the emotions. We've never really seen this emotional side of Leo before, and Joe Pesci killed it when he was talking about the frogs. I had chills the entire conversation, and when Riggs was at the grave, kind of with the ring and saying like, I'll always love you, always love you. Like, why did you bring this like weird guardian angel choice and stuff like that? Like chills that whole time. Then obviously the babies are born. They all have a big picture together with Joe Pesci. I'm so glad Leo got to be in it. That was so sweet of Riggs to ask Leo to be in the picture. I don't know why, just it made me so happy to see them being nice to Leo because they've been so mean to him. For, for every movie that he's been in for like, what, two, three, and four, they were so mean to him. So. It was so nice to see and very refreshing to see that they actually do care about him at the end of the movie. So yeah, really, really, really good stuff. And then also to add to this final fi finality, finality, finality that I kind of saw with this movie, the end credits, which was not did not happen in the rest of the movie and the other movies, but the end credits had photos of the actors and crew working on not just this movie, but the other three Lethal Weapons movies. And that alone made me go, this must be the last movie in the series. This has the feeling of the final movie. They have the pictures of the cast, the crew, not just from Lethal Weapon 4, but from like Lethal Weapon 3, 2, and 1. And the very last photo is just this big photo of all what looks like, to me at least, all the cast and crew. And it was so, I was so happy to see that giant photo at the end. And it just made me so happy to see all these people looking really happy to work on this movie show like shows how much that these people care about these characters care about this story and I know it just made me really happy to see but it also just felt like a final the final word on the Lethal Weapon franchise and I feel like I don't want a Lethal Weapon 5 just because of how good I thought the ending to these characters were was 
at the end of this movie. So yeah, so that's my little end of the movie Don't Want Lethal Weapon 5 rant because the end of this movie was so emotionally touching and so just well done. It wrapped up these characters really nicely and I don't think I'd want anything different from these characters ending. And I know sometimes endings can be better. Like for example, Toy Story 3 I thought had the most amazing ending and when they were making Toy Story 4 I was like, oh no, how are they going to make an ending better than that one? And I thought the Toy Story 4 ending was even better and it ended the characters perfectly exactly how, kind of how I never knew I wanted to but when it happened I was like, oh this is the only way these characters could have ended, what the heck? And so maybe Lethal Weapon 5 could do that but honestly, I don't know. It's been a long time from, from making the movies. Obviously, Richard Donner and the rest of the cast have, have from watching these four movies, have a lot of respect for this movie franchise, but I'm still unsure because it is hard to stick those landings again, and they've already done it once, and I just don't want them to mess it up again. But yeah, sorry, that was a long talk about that. The rest of this movie was pretty fantastic. I thought the weakest part of this movie were the villains, again, just like with Lethal Weapon 3. Kind of like all the lethal weapons, actually, the villains were kind of the weakest parts of the movie. This one, I'd say they were the second worst villains. I think the third movie had the worst villain. Uh, and this one, they were cool villains. They had more screen time. Jet Li was an awesome martial artist. He was just ripping shop whenever he was on screen. I was so excited because I was going to get to see this epic, awesome fight scene. But like, they still didn't have enough for me. They still felt a little flat. There was something missing from these villains that I would have liked to see. They didn't talk a lot. Most of what we knew about them came from the police, the police force, or when the old man guy was laughing with the laughing gas, and that was a hilarious scene. I literally was like, I was dying because my cheeks hurt so much from laughing during the laughing gas scene. It was so good. That scene was so good. But yeah, the villains just felt very lackluster. Uh, they were really cool to watch and the fights were awesome with them. I think they were some of the best fights in the series, especially with Jet Li. His fights were amazing. But I thought overall the villains were pretty weak because we didn't really know a lot about them. We didn't really see these like a lot of emotion with them besides Jet Li's character when his brother died and stuff like that. We didn't really get a big scope of what was kind of their motivations and the emotions behind the motivations, if you kind of get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I thought the villains were a little weak, but I feel like that was the weakest part of the movie for me. But now I'm going to get into some amazing positives, such as the action. The action in this movie was really good. Uh, I want to talk about two action scenes in particular, the car chase house scene thing, the car chase house, the house car chase thing, and the Jet Li final fight scene. The car, the house car chase scene is when they're on the highway and they has like the mini house thing on the back of the car. And then when Riggs is trying to get on the car, like the stunts on the highway scene alone were amazing to watch when he was on the table and like dragging across the road. And then he was next to the two cars that were bumping each other and stuff like that. Like, I think my mouth was open. It was just like, it was scary to watch because I was like, this is real stuff that's happening. Like real cars and he's on a table probably getting dragged by another car on the highway and it's pretty dangerous stuff and I, I was like it's probably a stunt double but still that stunt double has more guts than I will ever have in my life because that is insane but yeah those scenes were awesome both of the the guys the bad guys died in very gruesome ways one being hit by a bus and like flinging backwards and you could it was like a nice wide shot so you could see the impact and stuff like that and it was like oh and the other one unexpectedly t-boned by a truck just like smithereened himself to death. A lot of a lot of the bad guys actually got crushed to death. Now that I think about it, it was the bus, the truck, and two got killed by a train. So that's four of them already. And then there was only really like Jet Li as another of the big bad guys, and he was just shot to death by a million bullets from the AK-47 or something like that. That was a really cool death. But yeah, the highway chase scene was definitely my favorite action set piece. But my favorite action scene was the jet. Lee fight with Mel Gibson and Danny Glover at the very end when the stage was set and they turn around to Roger's like oh let's just go ask him or he says it like he doesn't want to obviously because he doesn't but he's like let's go ask him and then they turn around and then they cross each other's paths and then there's like a wide shot with like a lightning or something it's like it was so cool. I did not expect that in the movie. I knew Mel Gibson was probably going to fight Jet Li's character at some point as like a fina fi finale final fight 
but I did not expect how awesome it was going to be. Jet Li is so awesome. His like his kicks when he kicks like over his head to hit someone and his like spin kicks in the air and stuff. It was just really cool. It was very different in the Lethal Weapon franchise besides just like a usually it's just like gun gun fights and stuff like that. In the first movie there was hand to hand combat, but it was like jujitsu, I think that's what it was. And this was not jujitsu, this was something different. It was it was some form of martial arts. I just don't know what style it was. So okay, if anyone knows what Jet Li's style of martial art is, please let me know down below. Maybe he has his, maybe he has his own. Maybe he has Jet Li Do. Jet Li Do. I don't know. But yeah, it was cool that Riggs could hold his own sort of against him, but he needed kind of Roger's help to to finish the job, which was awesome because it really accentuated the teamwork that they needed to have, and it was just it was just really good writing. Oh, speaking of really good writing, oh yeah, that, that was just like 10 out of 10 fight scene at the end. It's 10 out of 10 fight scene, and then his death was 10 out of 10 as well. But speaking of really good writing, the start of this movie was my favorite opening of the entire of the entire franchise because like when it's, I mean, I'm the bomb one in Lethal Weapon 3, I think that was it, was pretty good. But I think this one was my favorite just because of how goofy they were being and how like they're they're talking about like their the daughter being pregnant and the Lorna and Lorna being pregnant was so different to what was happening like 10 feet away from them with a guy with like a flamethrower shooting the bullets in the air like it was so crazy and so random and I was so into it and the dialogue was so good it was so witty but it was also like it was so funny just because of the juxtaposition between the characters and the events that was happening I thought it was my fav favorite intro maybe if I rewatch them again it won't be but for me on first viewing of all the movies that one was the one that I had the most enjoyment out of so yeah it was really funny it was really good stuff okay getting into the cast now Danny Glover I'm gonna say Danny Glover first as Roger he was really good in this movie he's good in every movie just like Mel Gibson Joe Pesci and Rene Russo and Jet Li and Chris Rock everyone I'm gonna say everyone I'm gonna talk about did a really good job but Danny Glover and Mel Gibson especially I thought that their chemistry together was phenomenal. I thought it was the best that it's been in the franchise and I think that is just because the characters have grown with each other for so long that their their banter kind of kind of shows their progression as friends as well. Like they in this movie I felt like they talked a lot more to each other. I felt like they bantered a lot more to each other and like just hit each other with witty comments and stuff like that. But I don't know, there was something about this movie that I was like I feel like their banter is a lot better, but it also feels more like improvised in a way. I, like I wouldn't be surprised if the Lethal Weapon movies were like 90% improvised just because of how fast the talking is and stuff like that and like how good of an actor Danny Glover and Mel Gibson are. I feel like they could definitely pull it off even like a little bit of the movie improvised. But yeah, I'd assume that some of this movie is improvised, but it is so their their chemistry especially with Danny Glover and Mel Gibson is phenomenal, but I'm mainly talking about Danny Glover right now. He was really really good he didn't have a much of an arc in this movie per se because i feel like this movie was definitely more focused on Riggs than it was danny glover's character roger but he still was an amazing part of this movie he was still really phenomenal when he was on screen the only thing i wish his character there was like something odd with his character where when when he figured out that chris rock's character butters was the the stepson was his stepson. He didn't really get mad about it, and I thought Roger would be the type of person to get mad about it. Um, but he kind of just brushed it off, and then it was just okay with him. So that kind of felt out of character to me, but maybe it wasn't. But for me, I thought uh, Roger would definitely get a little mad at Butters, and Riggs would be like, hold on, hold on, look at this. Or Actually, no, Riggs would probably just laugh. Riggs would probably just laugh it off. But yeah, I thought Danny Glover's performance and his, his line delivery, especially in these movies, was really amazing. Now Mel Gibson going on as Martin Riggs, I've already talked about kind of their chemistry between Danny Glover. I've already said it was amazing. It was amazing. It was phenomenal. If you're going to watch these movies for one thing, you watch it for Danny Glover and Mel Gibson's performances because that is the highlight of these movies for me. But yeah, he had definitely more action scenes. Well, he was, they had the same amount of action scenes, I feel like, but he did more in the action scenes. Uh, and he also had a more emotional scenes, I feel like in this movie, they were both like, Sorry, not they were both being two people, Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, but the scenes that he did and the emotional stuff that Mel Gibson did were both 
absolutely amazing. The fight scenes, he really felt like he could keep hold his own gently. Uh, that's probably just to do with the choreography and stuff. But also, Mel Gibson's physical performance was really good. Uh, some of the stunts he did was awesome. His line delivery was really, really good. Again, just like always, his witty line delivery. His laughing always gets me to laugh. I don't know why. It's just like something contagious and his laughing is really funny. And his emotional scenes were also really, really kind of powerful. I don't know why. I just had chills whenever he was emotional. Again, with him and Joe Pesci, that scene at the cemetery was probably probably my favorite scene in the movie just because it was so unexpected but so so well written and so well acted both of them did an amazing job and when he gave Joe Pesci's Leo a hug at the end of the movie and asked him to be in this thing I was like oh he's finally like that is his character arc he's finally done his character arc he's matured enough to in to call Leo family if you know what I mean like that was perfect I thought Mel Gibson did an amazing job okay I'm just gonna talk about there, are, there was a lot of big cast members in this movie, and I wish I could talk about all of them in detail. I'm going to talk about Joe Pesci and Jet Li probably in detail, more so Joe Pesci. Jet Li, like, his fighting was good, but I don't think he did much else in the movie. Rene Russo and Chris Rock, like, they were... I'm going to talk... Okay, Rene Russo and Chris Rock, they both did amazing. Chris Rock was so funny as, like, kind of Leo detective, but, like, also he had, like, a reason to be the way he was, and I thought his reason was really good. I really enjoyed him in this movie. I thought he maybe he'd be annoying. He was not annoying to me. I always saw Marty from Madagascar, the zebra. If you haven't seen Madagascar, go watch it and then tell me that you don't see Marty as this as Chris as Chris Rock's character butters when you're watching this movie again just tell me you don't I just thought that was funny whenever I saw him on the screen I was like ha Marty Marty the zebra <laughs> but yeah I thought he did a good job and Renee, Renee Rousseau I thought did a really good job as well she she had some good fight scenes she only had a couple of fight scenes but when she was in them she rocked them she was so good uh, but she didn't do much else in the movie, but I'm glad that she got married to Riggs at the end. Joe Pesci was phenomenal in this movie. I'm always nervous with him in the Lethal Weapon movies just because of his character, and sometimes he can feel kind of grating almost. But in this movie, they did a really good job, and he was in the movie a lot. And I did not get angry that he was in the movie a lot once. I was never annoyed with his character. He was so funny, and that might be because of the performance. That might be because of the writing. Uh, I don't know, maybe like better lines or something. Maybe it's a combination of all of them, but he did an amazing job. And again, his emotional performance at the end, I could really see Joe Pesci as a phenomenal actor then because obviously he's been really good at the comedy aspect, but we've never, I've never at least seen Joe Pesci be emotional before um, and be more kind of more serious as an actor. And that was kind of my first glimpse at a serious Joe Pesci. And I thought he killed it. He did so good. Finally, Jet Li, what an amazing fighter. I thought his fighting was awesome. Again, when he was when when he was on screen, I was like, oh, we're going to get some really cool fighting. He killed my my best man, old man with the uh, watch, with Roger's watch. I was not happy with that. But yeah, Jet Li, I thought he was really fun on screen. His character didn't do much for me. His character, because his character didn't feel like very deep. He just kind of felt like this kind of villainous guy who has a brother who's who's kind of a very powerful and he's trying to bring him over to America and launder and stuff. Like I understood his motivations, but they were kind of weak for me. Uh, but yeah, Jet Li was really fun to watch. Okay, that is my reaction to Lethal Weapon 4. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these beautiful, amazing, wonderful people right here. It means a lot for you to be supporting me, supporting the channel. And yeah, thank you so much for listening to my review as well. If you made it this far, it means a lot for you to be listening to me talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'll see you. There's no more Lethal Weapon movies now, which is actually really sad. I really miss this franchise already. But yeah, I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.